Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a new tank tour for the gerbils. I haven't filmed one of these in quite a while and I've just cleaned them out so I thought it would be a good time to show you right now. So first of all they have this tank and this is a completely new thing. I've never tried this out before, I have thought about it but I've never actually tried it out and I'm glad I have tried it because I think this is going to work really well. So a lot of you may know that I have the problem with the gerbils not being able to have much bedding as this enclosure is not designed to hold much bedding. So then I thought this was a good solution and we already had this in the attic. This is what the gerbils used to live in so as you can see it was very small compared to what they have now. But it's going to be really good as they will be able to dig tunnels and everything and it won't affect the enclosure because there will be no pressure from the bedding so I think this is a really good solution to that problem. Then hanging off of the tank there is their water bottle, they can access this from a rock down there. Then to come out of the tank they have this bendy log sticks bridge and this is just a miniature one which then comes out onto this wooden shelf thing. So then this is a really easy way for them to access the tank. If you haven't yet been in it I think they're still quite shy. Okay so next they have some things coming off of this wooden shelf and I really like this because it's a great way for them to go up. There are three different levels so it adds a lot of variety for them and means you can have things coming off it and make it more interesting. So here I have a cork tunnel just going down from there. Then next to that they have a wooden shelf which they can jump up onto. They also have a ladder coming off of the top of the shelf and they love to chew on that as you can see. The whole of this section is just wood shavings which is the same as in here. So then moving on down to here they have a little coconut which is filled with the bedding material which they had in their previous setup. I thought it would be good to have something that still smells like them so that they don't feel too scared and they are familiar with something. And then the bedding material never seems to get too dirty, they always keep it quite clean so I've just left that in there for them and they can use it if they want. I may put some fresh hay in or something for them so they can build a fresh nest. So moving on to this area, it is separated off with some rocks to separate the two different bedding materials. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, I've never tried anything other than a sand bath before so this is something completely new but I think they will love having a whole sandy area and I think they will spend a lot of time there. As you can see they've made a lot of footprints already so I think they're loving it in there. So they are still quite shy and I think they're all under there at the minute, bless them. So in this sandy area they have a few things to play with. They've got their Trixie 11 inch wheel which they love and I definitely recommend that to all gerbil owners. It's probably the best wheel that I've ever invested in and I definitely recommend it. Then here they have a piece of driftwood which is on top of this little log and then finally they have another little wooden hidey house down there as well. So here is an overview of the whole setup. 